This video is looking at the last stage of respiration, the electron transport chain, and how it's used to produce large quantities of ATP. This is happening in the matrix of the mitochondria and occurs over the intermembranal space. Firstly, NADH, or reduced NAD, and FADH, reduced FAD, enter the matrix from the previous stages of respiration, these being glycolysis and the Krebs cycle. What happens is they are then oxidized, that is, they lose their hydrogens. These hydrogens, once they've been donated from FAD and NAD, then split into H pluses and electrons. The electrons then move into these specialist electron carriers which are in the membrane of the mitochondria. The electrons move between these electron carriers in a series of what are called redox reactions, that is reduction and oxidation. This electron carrier has been reduced, reduction is gain, it has gained an electron, and as this electron moves over the next electron carrier, we would say that the first one has been oxidised, oxidation is lost. The same happens again as it moves from this electron carrier onto the last one. So we have a series of reduction and oxidation reactions as the electrons move along these electron carriers. As they move along the electron carriers, the electrons are used to form ATP from ADP and from inorganic phosphate. The electrons also lose energy at each level and this energy is given off as heat. The H pluses, the H plus ions, are moved from the matrix across the membrane into the intermembranal space via active transport. In doing so, this creates a chemiosmotic gradient, an electrochemical gradient, a concentration gradient. The H pluses want to move from a high concentration gradient back into the matrix following the electrochemical gradient, following this concentration gradient from high to low. They do that by moving through the specialist protein, this enzyme, at the end of the electron transport chain. They diffuse through ATP synthase, thereby following the concentration gradient. In doing so, this allows ATP synthase to join ADP and PI together to form molecules of ATP. Once the H pluses and the electrons move back into the matrix, the electron joins with oxygen. Oxygen is referred to as the final electron acceptor. In doing so, this creates a negatively charged molecule, which then attracts the positive hydrogen. This then forms water. This whole process can be referred to as chemiosmosis, and that's usually a mark point. In doing this, we generate large amounts of ATP using the hydrogens which have been previously gathered, using NAD and FAD from the previous reactions in respiration.